Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am painting another piece with watercolour and the theme for this one is the Art Rooms um, August challenge which was underwater. Now I understand that it is now a couple of weeks into September but I did actually get this piece done by the end of August. It's just that it's taken me a couple of weeks to do the editing and the voiceover. And this voiceover may also be quite short because I have been at uh, Stockholm Comic Con this weekend. So I'm very, very tired. It's very late on a Saturday night and uh, I'm not sure I've got much energy left to talk about this piece, unfortunately. Um, I've got to get up early tomorrow to go back for the last day. Um, but yeah, anyway, I started off by uh, painting the background. I did a wash of uh, very light blue first and then went over and did these rocks and uh, unfortunately I didn't get all of the footage on camera partly because my nan rang me in the middle of painting these rocks and uh, instead of uh, stopping painting I decided to paint and talk to her at the same time so if the film jumps a little bit then that is why uh, but first of all I painted them in kind of like a bluey grey colour I think I'd actually mixed a blue and a black to get this kind of grey tone but then I, f I felt like it was feeling very flat um, uh, even after I'd gone over it a couple of times to try and get um, some depth. So I actually ended up uh, taking the, this set of watercolours, it's got a really really nice purple with it and I took the purple and decided to paint all of the details with that and it just gave it a lot of extra depth, um, something that I just was I think would have been lost if I'd used a black. I, so I, yeah, it was quite interesting to experiment with different colours in this piece. I also did a similar thing in a, in a few minutes after I've painted the rocks, you'll see that I start to paint a dragon in the middle. And I wanted the dragon to be a kind of turquoisey green colour. Um, but the more um, more detail I added to it and the shadows and stuff, I just felt, again, it was feeling kind of flat and uh, so I decided to experiment a little bit and I put some more purple into the shadows there and I do feel that that really made this piece come a bit more to life. Um, maybe it's not the best executed. I definitely feel that my skills are improving with watercolour. Um, I'm learning to control them a lot better. I'm learning to control the brushes a lot better and be able to get a lot more finer detail. Uh, know what to, how, how much water to add to them know when I have to do a, a wet wash and when to do a dry wash and that kind of thing. So I do feel like I'm getting better with the watercolours. Uh, it's definitely a question of having a lot of patience with them. Um, and that's not always my strongest point, I have to admit. Um, I want things to be done and dry and happen quickly and... Oh, but um, so also, and sometimes I have the opposite problem that the watercolours dry before I've managed to go back and blend them. So it's, it's definitely a question of timing. Um, but I do feel that I am improving quite a lot. I think if you go back and look at some of my earlier work in some of my earlier videos now, you will definitely see uh, a vast improvement. And so that is something that I'm feeling pretty happy about. Obviously there's still a long way to go, I've still got lots and lots to learn, but I think that's quite exciting really. I don't ever really want to feel like I'm, I've am i done learning. Um, I don't think I ever will feel like I'm done learning. Anyway, once I was finished with the dragon and the rocks, I decided then I wanted to add a few more uh, sea plants and sea creatures around the bottom of the piece. And so instead of using watercolours, which would be quite difficult because the watercolours are transparent, I thought it would be a good uh, idea to crack out my gouache paints and test those out on this and see how they worked. And so I just went in and painted a few different patterned le um, leaves or plants um, in just a few different patterns, tried to do uh, a seashell and some seaweed and and yeah starfish uh, some more successfully than others the uh, seashell is looking a little bit odd but I, um, I can just practice that and then um, at the end I I kind of regretted that I tried to add a shadow of the dragon on the bottom and I I know it doesn't really look right um, but unfortunately 
it was too late and I can't really take it away so uh, I'm gonna have to live and learn with that one uh, I do find shadows and light is really quite difficult and uh, but I did I actually saw a really good tip on uh, someone's Twitter post the other day which was that if you're unsure of the shadow is to kind of make the shape out of paper and then hold it up to a light and see what shape the shadow casts on the on like the or the desk below or the ground below whatever's below which I thought was a really good idea obviously it might not be a hundred percent accurate all the time but uh, it's something that I am thinking I might give it a go because I do struggle with knowing what shape the uh, shadows are supposed to be um, so yeah that's basically it for this painting I will leave you now to so enjoy the rest of the painting and uh, listen to some music and uh, I'm gonna go to bed and I uh, will uh, I will hopefully see you in next week's video and I will hopefully be a little bit more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed <laughs> um, hopefully I will get some more sleep and not be quite so busy next weekend so yeah anyway I really hope you have enjoyed this video if you have I always appreciate a thumbs up if you're new here feel free to subscribe to my channel I make weekly art videos and I use a variety of different mediums pastels pro markers uh, watercolors uh, yeah and just maybe the odd art challenge or two thrown in here and uh, yeah I really appreciate you watching this far and I will see you in my next video bye